Hey there, Dave Breslow with golf tips that actually work. Today I want to talk about over trying. Golf is, I think, probably the only game I know of where the athletes over try, overthink, overdo so much. I heard somebody on uh, Facebook, or I saw somebody on Facebook say a phrase that I thought was brilliant. Golf is the only sport that's over taught and under learned. This was a teaching pro that said that, and I told him I was going to steal the line, and I just did. So, and he said it was okay. Overtaught and underlearned. That's because the way things are in the world of golf, so many golfers are so steeped and so stuck, over analyzing, overthinking. So, what's interesting to me is a lot of the clients I work with are very successful in other areas of their life, like business or entrepreneurs or sales or things like that. And so the qualities that they use in that arena do not transfer to the golf world. Where they overthink, they overtry, they overworry, they over well, they actually don't transfer in their world either. Then <laughs> they can get what they want a lot faster if they understood. But I'm talking to you now, the golfer. So many of you overthink, overanalyze. A lot of golfers are what we call left brained, very intelligent. Very intelligent. So you rely on your intelligence to overthink and overanalyze. Trying too hard. There is no reason to try to hit a golf ball. Do you try to get up in the morning? Do you try to eat cereal? Do you try to drive your car? No. You do these things without a second thought. You do them out of rote habit. You do them so easily with such flow that there's nothing going on except the movement itself. Why can't your golf game be the same? Why do we have to try to hit a golf ball? There's nothing to try to do. I, I say the same thing to a tennis player. You don't try to hit the tennis ball. You don't try to hit the golf ball. Less is more. It's a very popular notion and a phrase out there. But people understand that intellectually. They go, yeah, 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 I understand less is more. But what do you do? You go right out to the golf course and you do more to get more. Why? Why? Less is more. Have you ever have you ever hit a golf shot where you just all of a sudden stopped trying and you just stood there and you were all of a sudden very connected, very open, mentally, physically, emotionally, energetically, and bang, you hit the ball. Pure. And then you say to yourself, why can't I do that all the time? Well, why not? If you get out of your own way, you can. If you stop with the thought, it's a thought process, it's an attitude that I need to do this, I need to control this, I need to try. You don't need to control anything. You know how to hit the golf ball, you take lessons maybe, you look at online videos, you know how to hit the golf ball. If you don't, go get a lesson from a, from a local pro. But your body knows what to do, you've been teaching it what to do. It, this is a lack of trust. It's a lack of trust. One of the top three issues for every golfer I've ever spoken to. I don't trust my swing. Why not? Well, because I get different results all the time. Well, that's not your swing's fault. It's because you get in the way of it. If you left your swing alone, your swing would give you what you want, more times than not. You can't blame your swing for the bad results that you're getting unless you need work on your swing. So let's, I'm going to assume you have a decent golf swing. It's not your swing's fault, it's you. You interfere, you create a buffer zone between your natural, easy swing and you thinking and trying. Get it? It's how powerful this thing up here, upstairs is. I try to tell people all the time. They just don't make the one-to-one -one connection. I hope you do right now. Make the one-to-one -one connection. There's no reason you can't go to the golf course and Trust your swing. Allow it to be. And notice right away when you're there, as soon as this thing starts working and you start overthinking, over trying, over doing, over worrying, over anything, you are in trouble. You are in trouble. So on the screen, before I end this video, you're about to see a white square pop up with green lettering. Hover over it. It'll take you to a page where I'm offering you two free sessions from my Wired to Win program. There's seven sessions in the program. 
It's, it's, the, it's the program in the golf world unlike any other. No psychology, none of that stuff. So I'm offering the first two laws that I teach out of the seven sessions. The first two laws which will help your game shift immediately just by learning those two. So hover over the, the green box that show, or the white box that shows up with the green lettering and it'll take you right to a page, put your first name and email in there, boom, they're yours. My, my gift to you. It's free. Dave Breslow, thanks for listening. Talk to you soon. Bye.